I want to talk to you a little bit about the initial model of your invention. Now, the initial model is what you're going to turn into plastic prototypes using the information from my video, How to Make Plastic Prototypes. So your initial model simply has to have the right size, the right shape, and the right surface. Now, let me show you what I use to make initial models. One material that's very easy to work with is balsa wood. This is an, an initial model made from balsa wood. And balsa wood can be bought in different sizes, thicknesses, uh, lengths. Michael's Arts and Crafts Supply is a good place to, to get it from. Easy to cut, use a, an X-Acto knife or a, a utility knife. And you simply use regular wood glue to glue it together. Here, you'll see that there are strips of, of balsa wood here. You can see the strips that have been glued together. And just as an example of what was produced from that, this is a plastic part. Another way to go is to find an item that's already out there that you can modify to fit your needs. Now this is a cap for a wide mouth jar, and I needed a, I wanted something a little different uh, that indicated the direction you're turning it, that also has these uh, elements here that would, would enable you to grip it a little bit better. And what you see here is clay. This is modeling clay. But the clay you want to use is make sure you use one that says on the label that's compatible with mold making compounds, okay? This particular one is made by Aiken. It's called Plastilina Modeling Clay. Works very well, but there are other brands as well. Now, the other thing I've used here, you notice these little arrows. Well, I, I just found something that's used on maps, these little plastic arrows, and I cut them out and fit them on here under a little thickness of clay. And the resulting plastic prototype that I made using my information in my video, How to Make Plastic Prototypes, is this that you, that you see right here. Now, I've painted the top of it, but I could just as well have made it in red to begin with. But this one happens to be spray painted, and it's an actual cap that'll, that'll screw onto a, a wide mouth jar and work just like a regular cap will. Another material that's easy to use is plaster of Paris. One thing about plaster of Paris is it's very easy to sand and to work into a perfect shape. Now with this particular part, I started with clay, and I sculpted it into the shape I wanted. I then made a mold, which my, my video, How to Make Plastic Prototypes, shows you how to do. And then I cast the mold with plaster of Paris and then worked it into a perfect shape. And then the resulting prototype part is this right here. One thing you can do with plaster of Paris is you can build up an area that perhaps maybe you sanded down a little more than you meant to. Uh, or perhaps that you never started with uh, enough up to begin with. You can build it up, and then when you go to sand it, it's all the same plaster of Paris as the rest of your model. Now, Bondo is another element you can do that, you can use to fill in with, but Bondo is harder than plaster of Paris, so then when you go to sand it later, it's hard not to end up sanding away more plaster of Paris than you meant to. If you want a perfect prototype and you don't mind spending some money, you can have somebody design your part using a CAD program. The three-dimensional design is then used to create a part directly using rapid prototyping. The three main methods of rapid prototyping are stereolithography, fused deposition modeling, and three-dimensional printing. All three rapid prototyping methods use computers to accurately create parts from three-dimensional CAD drawings. Three-dimensional printing uses modified inkjet printers, Fused deposition modeling uses a device that extrudes a small amount of molten plastic to build the part, and stereolithography uses a laser that hardens a liquid layer by layer. The part I am holding was made by stereolithography. Once you have your perfect model, you can then reproduce it inexpensively using the information in my video, How to Make Plastic Prototypes. I hope you found that helpful. In my video, How to Make Plastic Prototypes, I show you how to turn any model into perfect plastic duplicates. Feel free to call me about this if you have any questions, and good luck with your inventing.